some things you need to know about me in 1997. One, I was married to a lovely uh, woman from Germany. Two, we had just had our first child. And three, and most importantly, I was a huge Flyers fan. Now, I was a Flyer. I, I, in the 70s, when they were winning, I was too young. I barely remember it. 80s, I lived and died with them, but they didn't get a cup. 90s, we got Eric Lindros, and I thought this was the year. And uh, it wasn't until 1997 that they actually had a shot, and they were going to go to the finals, and they were the favorites. Except the one problem was uh, we had been scheduled to go to Germany uh, to bring my daughter there and to see her, uh, to meet her grandparents. But it was pretty much my first big test as an adult. <laughs> um, but I did it, I did it without much crying. Uh, so we were, and it wasn't like we were going to some big German metropolis or anything, it was a small mountain village in East Germany or former East Germany. Uh, no, this was before the internet. Uh, they had like one TV, it was in the grandmother's apartment downstairs. Uh, there was one newspaper in the entire town, and it only said what they were doing in that town. So I was pretty much going dark, uh, worried about you know how my flyers were doing. And uh, <clears throat> luckily, uh, my and and, not, and also my uh, in-laws were very religious. Um, this comes very important later. Uh, not just I mean not just went to uh, Sunday school every week, but my mother-in-law was the church organist and Sunday school teacher. Um, so I didn't feel like they cared that much about, you know, my sports needs. Except that my father-in-law did watch, you know, um, foosball or soccer on occasion. And he did, he was a sweet man and he actually got me, uh, figured out when, the, uh, what, what channel it would be playing on. They did share the Flyers game and, and uh, it was like, a, it was like a 11 o'clock at night. Um, and luckily, uh, it's in the grandmother's apartment, but the grandmother had gone, goes to sleep at 7 o'clock. So I was all set. I, uh, I, ready to go, you know, 11 o'clock, I go upstairs, uh, go to, you know, sit down to watch the game. And, and I, there's a few things I need to tell you about Germany and maybe Europe in general, and that is uh, they're very free sexually. Uh, if you go to the store and, uh, you know, there'd be like uh, kids' comic books in one part and then like, you know, like a Jugs magazine, like right next to it, and like, you know, no, no problems, no, not trying to cover it up. If you watch a commercial during the day, uh, if it's a shampoo commercial, they'll just show somebody buck naked taking a shower, no problem there. But what I didn't understand was the, the, the sense of uh, recklessness uh, of the commercials uh, at 11 o'clock at night while watching an a NHL game. So I sat there and uh, ready for the game, Wife's grandmother's asleep in one room, uh, wife, newborn baby, in-laws upstairs, and watch the game, it's fine. And then uh, the commercial started, and the commercials were not, uh, it wasn't beer commercials, it wasn't you know, soda or, or car commercials, it was just straight porn. <laughs> it was, and it was like, and this was like pre-internet, so it was like phone sex, and it was just like pretty much three to five minutes of just, you know, like, uh, full penetration, <laughs> and uh, and I, and I'm no, I mean, you know, not that I don't like porn. Uh, <laughs> Twelve-year-old Jim would have been perfectly happy with that, but I think pornography has to do with uh, you know location, 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 <laughs> and uh, you know there, there was you know some things going on around the house. So I was pretty much every time like a commercial would come on, I would like tighten up, and then the game would start, and I would I would settle down. And then, sure enough, to, one of the commercials just started, and just at that moment, my wife and her mother walked in the door, and they were carrying snacks. <laughs> so they, you know, my, my mother-in-law came and put the snacks down and left. And meanwhile, like, behind me, there's like a woman ankles to ears. I mean, it was... <laughs> and so she leaves, my wife sits down, kind of like with their arms crossed like this, and, I'm, and I, you know, I go into like, you know, like husband mode. I'm like, I swear to God, I'm watching this game. This is a commercial. I'm not, there's a game going on. And so I had to wait like three minutes for it to actually come on. Um, and then, you know, I was like, see, see, see. And then uh, she kind of like acted mad for a little bit and then was like, I'm just messing with you. My father watches games here all the time. We know what kind of commercials going on. As a matter of fact, 
I told my mom to wait by the door until the commercials were about to start. <laughs> and I said, Mom, watch his face when we go inside. That's my story, thanks. <laughs>